Hi everyone, this is Brilliant Botany episode 4 and today I'm going to be telling you about four common New England plants. Forgive me for not shooting outside, which I prefer to do, but my lens on my camera kept fogging up every time I tried to take a picture this morning, so we're inside today. Now the first plant I'd like to tell you about today is Impatience Capensis Jewelweed or Spotted Touch Me Not. It is shown here without the flowers because the plants that I could find weren't yet in flower, and shown here in a picture I took last year during one of my soil science labs. You'll find jewelweed in swamps, moist woods, or along streams. This is my herbarium specimen of Spotted Touch Me Not. So when you press a plant, it loses a lot of its color. It actually has really vibrant orange flowers, as you can know from the previous picture, and the leaves aren't quite as dark in person as they are on here. Now this second plant is really cool in my opinion, and it is Eastern Skunk Cabbage Simplicarpus fetidus. Now I was gonna go film it outside this morning, but as mentioned, it was very hot, so I have my herbarium specimen of it. This is only the upper part of the plant. I didn't get the underground rhizome, and the leaves are greener in person when they're not pressed. Now the very cool thing about skunk cabbage is that during the winter it's buried underground a couple feet, I believe, but when spring starts to come it undergoes cyanide-resistant cellular respiration. Basically it produces a lot of heat up to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, which allows it to melt the snow so that its stem can work its way up and then start putting out leaves. So you'll see them in early spring, sometimes when there's still snow on the ground. Now plant number three is Oxalis stricta, also known as wood sorrel. You can find it in open fields, along tree lines, along roadsides, those sorts of areas. We have it all along the tree line and in the grass at my house. It has five yellow petals and its leaves have three leaflets that look a lot like clover, but it's actually in a completely separate family from clover. And finally we have Lilium philadelphicum, the wood lily. You'll find it in dry open woods and in clearings in the New England area. It has six petals which are orange with purple spots near the center. Alright, so those are four common New England plants you'll find, so next time you see them, you'll know what they are. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to keep up with future videos. As a side note, I'm going to be at the Plant Biology 2013 conference this weekend, which is hosted by the American Society of Plant Biologists. I'll put a link to that if you're curious about what that is. If any of you are going to be there, please let me know on Twitter, at Brilliant Botany, via an ask or on a comment on here, because I'd love to meet you and say hi.